One of the great traditions with Shawnee Mission South basketball is the student section is amazing. You do such a neat job after the game with this human tunnel. So what we're going to do to introduce the 1990 basketball state champion. Thirty-three, not to draw attention to himself. When did you 
come out of your shell. I still haven't come out of my shell. You still haven't come out yet? I'm passive, I'm shy, I'm nervous around crowds. <laughs> what about this team and getting back together? It seems like you guys picked up right where you were 25 years ago. Oh, we had so much fun yesterday. Taco Villa and Chargers Caboose today. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, you form such relationships with guys. And 25 years, we still all keep in touch. And it's, uh, it's fun to have these reunions. And we, we want to really thank the Shawnee Mission South administration and, and Dave for doing it. Give a hand for Shawnee Mission South for doing this today. Yeah, nice Matt Vopel was kind of new to the party. He moved in as a sophomore. What was that like to come to a school like this with an established basketball program already? It, it was definitely eye-opening. I mean, these guys, they, they welcomed me in. But I think what, what I remember most is, is going over to the Ruth's house, going over to the girlies' house after the games. I mean, we were one big basketball family. And I think that carried over to the basketball court. So it was, it was really special. Every team has a player that keeps everybody else loose. Who was the loose guy? Well, it comes as no surprise that then and now Mr. Gurley kept us loose. I mean, he, he's the best joke teller that we have on the team by far. Okay, Amy Gurley, stand up. Greg tells all these jokes, and you laugh along, but you've heard them all like a thousand times, right? <laughs> Spouse of the year with Greg all these years. Absolutely. All right, Ken Thompson was on the first shot of Mission South football state championship team in 1973, an assistant basketball coach when the boys won up for the first time in 1990. Any similarities, personalities, teams that you can compare the two? Uh, no, just the fact that they were all big competitors, loved to hit people, whether it was on the football field or the basketball court. We were pretty uh, tough at basketball team. You have been here forever, right? Is this the only place you've ever worked at? Every time I come to South, you're here. I put seven years into Indian Creek Junior High, and then uh, once it's a feeder school, so that counts. Okay, <laughs> and then the rest of the time I've been here, so this is my 36th year uh, for you. Ken Thompson, that's a officially a lifer. Nice job. My right, Coach Sexton. Did you know going into the season there was something special about this group that you might have a team that could run the table? Not just winning state at 24 and up. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So when did you figure out during the season that maybe there was something special? Well, probably about halfway through. And they, they really came together and played it really great. All year they did. There's a great bunch of people. Uh, they all on the honor roll, which uh, made it a lot easier to coach. You just have to tell them once, and they get it, and go on. Did you listen to a Guns N' Roses CD on your way over here, Welcome to the Jungle, one more time, old time set? No. <laughs> Could you sing one line from Welcome to the Jungle? No. <laughs> Would your wife Marie sing one line? She was my choir teacher from 1970-something. She says no. She could. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she could. Too often tired. Too long? Yeah, whatever. Too long to tired. Too high? Yes. You can sing anything. All right. Turn your attention to the big screen down, hanging down at the stage. Greg Gurley and I went back and took a look at the final minute. Mrs. Gurley, Carol Gurley, videotaped every game from like, what, third grade on? And Time Warner Gable Sports Channel is here tonight showing this live. But in the old days, if Mrs. Gurley hadn't rolled her trusty old video camera, we wouldn't be able to take you through the final minute, Shawnee Mission South, Wichita South, tied at 40. Greg Gurley can talk us through the ending. The 6-8 championship game is too close to call here at White Auditorium in Emporia. We are tied at 40 with a minute to play. When the South students are really into it, you see the cheerleaders and the Yale leaders and the band has this crowd in the crazy. Well, the great thing about this arena is that it only seats about four or 5,000. It was packed, they turned people away. It, it's so much better than playing at like an Allen Field House where you might have five grand, it looks empty, so very fun, festive crowd. Now you think Wichita South might have the advantage here. Titans, the two-time defending champions, Val Barnes, the star last year. He's now a freshman at the University of Iowa. Greg Early's second foul has Wichita South shooting a couple of free throws. It's a 40-point game. First shot is up. 
and good. Tightens by a point now, 41-40. He will get another with a chance to go up by two. And you see Kevin Rabbit, number 11, what his job is to cut off that shooter in case of a miss, right? Cut off the shooter, and then, then I'm right there on the left block. You block out Steve Woodbury. I believe his name is Rod Fryer, missed it. And I chased it down, and there's a foul on their big fella. So one point game with Craig Gurley going the line. Both teams will walk to the other end. Gurley, the Raiders' terrific junior, will go to the line with a chance to put his team back in front, shooting one and one. 57 seconds to go. What's going through your head here? Well, not a whole lot, really. I always tried to just not think about too much. If free throws keep the same routine, three dribbles, a little spin, and knock it down. And there's no kind of a block party. You guys aren't slapping hands. You just go up there and take care of business and just do sneak this second one in. Out on the rim, got a shooter's roll. So about 55 seconds on the clock, switched off south, down by one, and has an opportunity. You know, they're gonna run the clock down for a while, just run their little continuity, three-man weave, see if they can find a turn a corner, get all the way to the rim. Steve Woodbury out there. Woodbury, that year's Gatorade Player of the Year, and the guy that you figure that Wichita South, they want him to be able to take the shot. So still probably about 25 seconds on the clock. Steve Woodbury's going to go over here. They're just going to do another little dribble handoff. I kind of got caught in the mix, and Steve Woodbury from about 10 feet knocks it down. Right now about 13 on the clock. We do have a timeout. We get it into Jay Roof right there over to Brian Merchant. Kevin Rabbit, our point guard, dribbles it up. Double team, which fell south by one. I come and meet the pass. Turn, fire, bucket, game over. But at the end of the game, just great squeals like moms are supposed to squeal. The kids, of course, went berserk, which the state had an issue with that. Well, we're so fortunate, too, that my mom always filmed my games. I mean, I think this is the only copy of the game. No one would ever believe it, but thanks to Carol Gurley and her video ability, she captured the moment, and uh, you can see her shaking a little bit, and somebody pointing, and uh, it, it, it uh, was just an unbelievable atmosphere. The legend has it a 75-foot shot, but realistically, about a 30-footer, but you made it with a cannon at the end of the game. Shawnee Mission South winning a Boys State Championship, 45-43. The big trophy goes up I-35, not to Wichita, the Raiders are state champions. All right. Who would like to see these guys take this shot again? Yeah. Do we have enough guys here to recreate the play? Do we have basketball? All right. Ryan Merchant isn't here. You better not this. Play. Bell will play the role of Merchant. Thunder Mission South had a timeout, they didn't take it. And Wichita South was always convinced that they didn't get it across in 10 seconds. Give it a shot. Jay Rubin inbounds. Back to Bob Bell. Kevin Rabbit. To the free throw line. The clock is ticking in seconds. Rabbit double team, then he finds Gurley. Gurley is open, three seconds, 2-1, 25 footer. Oh, good. But Gurley gets it back, and the second one goes! Gurley's state champion from 1990, 45-43. South Peak, Wichita South, 24 and 0, and the boys are playing state championship. Congratulations, fellas.